Earth, North America, the United States, Kansas, Harvey County, North Newton, Bethel College, Lycan Fine Arts Center, Crable Auditorium. Look around you. Notice the other people in the room. They may seem normal on the surface, but deep down everyone is hiding their own insecurities, their own fears, their own personal challenges. We did an anonymous campus-wide survey to both students and staff asking them to provide personal testimonies about challenges they've faced. Here are their responses. Last week, my dog died. I haven't felt like myself since that day he passed. It feels like a part of me was taken. I just don't feel whole. The other day I was making a burrito in my kitchen and I tried to grab a plate from a cabinet but it accidentally slipped and fell. And I, I looked down at the shattered ceramic littering my tile floor and I just thought, why couldn't that be me? Why, why can't I escape from this horrible world that I live in? I coughed earlier today. Sometimes when I cough, I vomit a little bit and then I suck the vomit back into my lungs and then it makes me cough even more. This is one of those times. It, it, it was not, it was not fun. I was driving down First Street the other day when a cat streaked in front of my car. I didn't hit it, which kind of annoyed me because I always thought it'd be cool to hit a cat. So I backed over it. It was really cathartic. <laughs> or should I say, cathartic. <laughs> I'm a never nude, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a syndrome that renders a person completely incapable of being naked, even in solitude. It hasn't been recognized by the DSM-5, but there are dozens of us. Dozens! I went on a blind date with a guy the other day. He kept talking about how much he liked drums, so I hit him over the head with a soup spoon. I really don't like drums. Whenever someone asks me how my day has been, I respond that it's been fine. But in reality, the fact that I can never have him makes my life hell. I've fallen in deep romantic love with him. I want to bear his children. I want to sleep in the same bed with him every night. I love you, Mitch McConnell. When I was a kid, I used to catch snakes and weave them together into macrame textiles. And once the snakes uh, died and dried up, I would feed the remains to my dog. I actually won several competitions due to my originality. It was a fun pastime. I should take it up again, I, I miss it. Many know me as devout Mennonite pastor Peter Gorzin, but I'm secretly a Mormon. The simplicity of Mennonites has bored me throughout the years. I wanna to go to people's doors and tell them about American Jesus. Last week, my grandfather died. Before he died, I said, hey grandpa, that's a nice golden watch you got on your wrist. Could I have it? He said, over my dead body. Then he coughed up blood and died. Well, that was a freebie. Sometimes I feel like I'm a completely different person. One time I was riding a scooter and then it scooted off without me and now I have no scooter. I drown squirrels for fun. I can lick the sole of my foot. I ran over my grandmother with a Segway. They don't want you to know this, but the real Peter Gorzin died years ago. He was replaced by Robert F. Kennedy. I can't physically blink. Last summer, I discovered a new species of rubber duck. You know, I, I think we need to reevaluate who we allow on this campus. I'm looking at you, Peter Gorzin. If anyone has any information about the whereabouts of Pastor Peter Gorzin, please report it to the campus administration immediately. My name is Michael Unruh, and I approve this message.